So what matters is how we love, live, and how we spend our dash. So for those of you that are listening and watching and you're wondering, my dash isn't going so well. Or I'm not happy with my dash. I'm not happy with the content of my life right now. Well, that's okay. Because what you've learned about what you don't like is all part of the dash. That's learning. That's creating. If you don't like something or you are not comfortable, that's good that you've noticed. Better that you should notice and don't like it than be numb and not know anything. But if you're uncomfortable with something, that's okay. That's perfectly great because then there's movement to be moved. And if you're happy with your life and you love how it's going, then that's great. Then you get to share that with the world and you get to tell the world, you know what, I like the way my life is. I'm happy with it and being authentic with where you're coming from. Because a lot of people will share that they're really happy with how things are going when they're really not. And, you know, and they're just doing it from their ego so that they don't have to tell anybody how it really feels to them. And the other thing is to be really grateful and satisfied with what you've already accomplished, what you may be a dreaming of accomplishing. That's extraordinary. That's extraordinary. Because with gratitude, the dash only gets thicker and thicker. And it's capitalized and it's underlined, and it's bolded, and it's all of those things, okay? So it's how you live, it's how you love, you know, it's how you explore. It's not always, it's not just what you um, accumulate. Let's, n let's not make it about maybe what we accumulate. It's how we've gone through it. It's who did you touch in your life? Who touched you? And how did that touch occur? And how did you, what did you do with the touch? How did you reciprocate the touch?